What's up, everybody? Uh, we got Mark here. I'm gonna jump down off of this van that I'm in right now. We got Mark here. We're gonna show this gem of a van that Mark has gutted, rebuilt, fixed a lot of problems. And, uh, it's very interesting. It's a 136 inch Promaster, which is not your standard van that people build in. I don't. We're, we're gonna go into all a bunch of details. I love the walnut white look. What do you guys think? So let's go check this thing out right now. The problem with After Hours is Rolo wants to play. Yeah. How do you say no to that face? Mark, what's going on, man? How much? How are you? I'm good. My, He'll be okay. My dog wants to play. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's amazing. All right, Mark, you got a, uh, what, what, just tell us what you got here. What, do you, what yeah. kind of van we got? We got? Uh, it's a 136 Promaster. Initially to take out the existing galley and the existing refrigerator box. And we ended up doing a full gut on the entire thing and starting it from scratch and rebuilding it. The client dropped it off with just intentions of doing ABC and instead you gave him the whole alphabet. Gave him probably three alphabets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, it was a typical thing. Obviously, everybody starts out at a certain place as far as like building and that sort of thing. But then also you have some builders out there that are also doing their first project. And I think that this was um, kind of uh, a combination of things where they entrusted the build to a builder that wasn't quite up to par. He kind of worked out a lot of his mistakes and learning process on their van. What happened in the interim is as we started kind of taking things apart, we found like over 14 fire hazards in here. There was a, a heated floor that didn't work. There was uh, a converter that went from 12 volt to 24 volt, but the converter was too small, so it was overheating. So this was the van that actually you, myself, and Anthony did a video kind of on. Yeah. That was this van, right? Yeah, that was, it was this van. It was emptied out. It was, geez, it was a while ago. We basically went from having it fully built out, taking out the galley and realizing like, oh, there's a bare wire, to taking out the sink and being like, oh, there's leaks in the plumbing, to digging into the power system that they had installed and being like, oh, wow, there's multiple fire hazards here. Each layer that we peeled off, we found more things that were just really wrong with it. It was a lot of work because we had to deconstruct and then reconstruct. But it's been a fun project and we crammed a lot into a tiny little space, which is half the fun with us. I also just got a shout out too. I have uh, a couple lead guys here, um, two or three lead guys here that really kind of took, they headed on this project themselves. So that was really fun seeing them being able to like really put this thing together and did an amazing job. And then I got to just kind of jump in on the yeah on the quality control stuff which, <laughs> was, which was fun for me too well, we're gonna see some Bryn trim Bryn is your one of your master carpenters there yeah Bryn's kind of my my shop manager and then also Andy and then uh, Anthony both like really threw down in here so. you know one thing I'm gonna point out is uh, these windows the customer uh -huh. actually the client actually had them before you guys even did anything to it, right? So yeah, we put we installed two more of the same brand of window into the into the rear doors, but these two side windows were already in. What are they? Because I don't see them often, and sure. they're super cool. They're I like them a lot. Yeah, they're Arctic Turn windows. Great company. What's cool is they're an insulated, pressed acrylic. If you were to point like a heat gun at glass and a heat gun and acrylic, you would notice the difference between the the two, what they absorb for heat and whatnot. So Interesting. what's kind of really fun about these- And we're getting in to show them off right now. Yeah. yeah. Is a- uh, Really, they, really nice handle. Look at that. They have multiple, uh, multiple locking devices on them, which is kind of nice for security purposes. Oh uh, yeah, I'm counting four, five on that. Nice. Five, yeah. <laughs> And then um, they have a locking mechanism, so you can awning winning window this out into a couple different. That is a big things. old window. Yeah. And then what's really cool is you can. There's your they, screen. They come with this interior trim kit, and so you got a bug screen on one side, and then you have a blackout shade on on the other side. So. Nifty. Pretty cool. Then you just give it a little, little bump, and then it comes back down. 
So again, this is a 136 inch ProMaster. Yeah, uh, you'll have to excuse a little bit. We're doing some final, final touches. So we've got a little blue tape around here. Yeah, I think you have like an hour left on this. Yeah. That was kind of getting towards the end of the day and your guys needed to go home. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's only fair. Anyways, uh, Mark, this is a very interesting layout because again, you only have 10 feet of space. Yeah, very unique for sure. We were able to, um, to get a lot packed in to a tiny space and and still be able to pull out a lot of these just really nice finishes and stuff um we're just gonna the they're on back order right now but we have a convection microwave that's going to go into this galley space our typical thing that we did for the for the sink um in gray water per the client's request we made a little berkey cubby um down here and then it's got just these little clips so that will stay in place while driving and it'll stay in place while driving so that's and you guys cut that out that fits perfectly i love that yeah, kind of a little nook she's got a little puppy and so we made a little dog bed back here um well, ain't that cute and then also made a little platform in between the two seats so she could stick the dog bed as well oh that is that is super nice yeah you put you put a little flat spot for a dog in the oh, front seat. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're always thinking, huh, oh, buddy? Um, yeah, and then there'll be a lagoon table come right on this side of the bench here. We're, we're installing that tomorrow. Part of your one hour of work tomorrow. Yep. It's, uh Yeah. So. And then we got a little bit of storage uh, under here, uh, with. A little bit. That's yeah. not a little bit. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, and then um, our four port and two port for uh, your 120 and 12 volt. And then over on this side, um, we have a little, she just wanted basically like a little honey bucket. Yeah, nothing special for a toilet. Yeah. But that's so, perfect, that's all you need. But this is a little composty toilet thing and uh, put the little ring down Oh, look at that, there. so it's not gonna move out so of it. So it won't move, yeah. That's kind of nifty, huh? Yeah. Do you know if they're gonna be, uh, the client's gonna be living full-time in this, part-time in it? They're, this is going to be kind of like their little getaway vehicle. They got a whole bunch of toys, and so they decided to get a little cargo trailer yeah. that will house their bicycles, kayaks, um, paddle boards, you know, kind of all the other things that they want. So they're going to be pulling a miniature trailer full yeah. of toys behind full of toys. That's awesome. That's a great behind idea. The, the little 136. Oh, that's such and a... then as you can see, like, because we're, we did a couple different things on the layout, there's still like plenty of space in here. Yeah, you know? I mean, I'm I'm actually like You're a good, good six, six feet apart. I was about to say six, seven feet. So yeah. Yeah. This is interesting. This is a refrigerator that I don't normally see. Yeah. She actually picked this up from um, a company called Norcold. They're mm -hmm. out of Norway. And so she actually got this refrigerator from Norway. They're actually bringing these over now. So this is a refrigerator that we offer. I haven't had the chance to really vet it yet, mm -hmm. but it's a sweet little fridge. It's got lots of space. They kind of cut out a little bit on the freezer space. Oh my. So yeah, you think that freezer yeah. goes back, yeah. but the compressor I'm assuming is right there. the compressor is, right is back there, yeah. Nice big, big vegetable drawers. Um, you know, little trays and... It's just an interesting design because you normally see them like, you know, shorter underneath cabinetry. This is yeah. very long, kind of almost like it would be in a closet yep. style. And we were going to do like a full column here and actually try to do more, but then she was really wanting to have just kind of like another little tray or surface area. And then we put in this uh, little top shelf. So we have like two different trays here to like put different yeah. things in. And you guys went with your classic Bryn trim. Yeah, we, we did. And then on this side, she wanted a place to put her little pot. So we stuck the outlet up here. You have an outlet up there. Yeah. For that. And then the pad for the, for the tea kettle and the instant water heater is right there. Oh, isn't that nice? We have our gray water tank and, and then just the back side of the Berkey. Is it drained straight down? How does the, the gray? Uh, it goes right into a seven gallon gray water tank. The one that was under there. Yeah, we, that's something that she's just gonna end up carrying out. Gotcha. Um, there's actually 24 volt heated pads under here um, oh, for yeah. electric pads. That um, Anthony spent like two days fixing yeah yeah we had to fix them because the guys that put the van together actually like threw bolts through the middle of them another electrical fire hazard yeah um oops 
Uh, yeah, whoops, indeed. <laughs> um, we're ready to start building in here, and we're like, well, the only thing we haven't removed is the floor. Let's check it out. And then we did, and then on the whole underside of the floor was this, like, sticky mat um, that is, does a little bit of heat. And, uh, but there were bolts stuck through all of the heating elements. So if she would have turned it on, it, it would have been a fire hazard. But what's cool about it is it does warm the floor. Mm -hmm. We did, we did try that out. Unfortunately, the electric consumption on that floor is a lot. So she can only heat it for about an hour before she has to turn it off. And well, actually you've gone there. So why don't we finish it with the batteries? What do you, what does the, the system have? There's a uh, 400 amp hours of battery. So you're telling me 400 amp hours can only run that electric floor heating pad for give or take maybe an hour, if maybe a little bit more. If she anything else running in here and was just strictly running the floor and nothing else, she'd get about two and a half hours. We, we actually tanked the batteries. So this is not your check. standard, what you put in your other vans, the hydronic heated floor system. Yeah, this is... This is very different, everybody. This is like a warm floor, whereas like the hydronic van life tech system is right. actually a radiant heat system. And a hot water system. And hot water system. Right. And, and also a forced air system. Right. So that's so. the major difference between what you put in, you know, some of your other builds compared to yeah. a just a heated pad. Just a, yeah, this is gonna make it so that you have uh, a warm floor if you laid in bed for an hour or two hours and then you put your feet down on the floor, uh, it wouldn't be freezing cold. It would just be warm. But it's not a heat source for the entire van. Yes. Whereas like the hydronic heat, that's actually like a, a heat source. That, that heat transfers up through the cabinetry and everything, which is why we really kind of move towards that we only put this into this van because it was already installed right and we were just trying to appease her and well that's another running. thing that nomadic customs does is you guys listen to the clients whatever the clients want you'll do nice even slug, though you buddy we try to find our best way around sticky situations this van was very much it, it was done extremely wrong unfortunately it was someone who built vans and then it came to us with uh, replace the galley, help us figure out something for the fridge to make it look cool. And then we ended up gutting the entire thing. I think the client is going to be extremely happy that, that you did all of this. Me too. And I just want to make it clear too that I, I don't poo-poo anyone that's trying to do DIY projects or anything like that. But when someone's taking your money, man, vet the builder. This is an example of where they spent twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars. All of that went out the window. Right, and I mean, and you and I have sat down and done a video about how to vet a builder. You know, I don't want to go off topic sure. too much, but uh, yeah. you know, you have this interesting bed set up in the back here. Yeah. Was yeah. this this was actually a collaboration of design layout from Nomadic and the client, I believe, right? Yeah, her and her partner have a lot of fun traveling around together. Sure. But her partner doesn't join her for um, a majority of, of the time, and then this is actually. Her daily driver. Oh, um, nice! So she's perfect actually, size. Yeah, so she's actually picking this up to cruise down, see her mom for a couple weeks. You know, heads back home and and grabs her partner off to the next adventure. So. So you're saying right now it's a twin? Yeah. Okay. So so it's a little bit smaller than a twin. It's about uh, 32 inches instead of 36 inches. Oh, I did, okay. Did not even realize. So and 32 then, inches wide. Yep. And then actually this then pulls out. And, uh, Ain't that nifty. And then this top cushion just comes and slides in. And so then to make a, how big is this bed now? Now this is 52 inches and a full size is 54 inches. And just for everybody that knows my channel well, I believe my, the width of my bed and my Murphy bed sprinter was 52. Yeah. So it's, this, is, this is very adequate for two people. It really is. I mean, let's face it, guys. We're in the end of the day, we're living in vans, or we're, we're traveling in vans, or we're sleeping in vans. It's not the most easiest thing to come up with a bed system. I think you did a great job with this, Mark. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said, we had to consolidate space or make an effort to really consolidate space. So, pretty sweet how it worked out. Um, and and that just, was it. That just slides just like that. Huh? It just all slides back in and then latches down. Damn, that walnut is so pretty. And for everybody that um, this is not stained 
like poplar. This is not a stained birch. Yeah. This is actual walnut. Yeah. If we, I if uh, that is correct, right, Mark? Yeah, it's definitely the hardwood. We we don't do well uh, doing <laughs> stains here. No, you you don't. You don't like to. No. Um. So if everybody knows what the cost of walnut is. It is not a cheap hardwood. It is a very mm. very nice, beautiful hardwood. Yeah. Um, and then this stuff, guys, this is not easy to do. I've obviously said that many, many times. That is Bryn trim. Well, and what's great, Bryn and Andy really put some time in. They match the grains. I um, mean, that's that's just carpentry. That's it's what yeah. should carpentry do, right? And then these all, you know, have the stand-up arms. Yep. Cool. Have under cabinet lights. And then we also have these guys here. Little reading lights. Um, that do all sorts of fun stuff. Oh, nice. Such a got big shelf. Two or three of those around. Um, I'm gonna put this back down so we can... Yeah. Thanks. And then, as I said before, we have this little dog bed. We have uh, some extra storage under there with the water tank back behind. Was that a 20 gallon? Uh, 22. 22 gallon, sweet. And then, nice nice big drawers. You got that Baltic birch drawers in there, buddy. And then our little mechanical area. Um, for the water pump. Nice. Nice other drawer under the fridge here. Just, you know, you made every inch count, I would say, right? We really did. This one was one where we, we started one thing. We, we built this cabinet. We figured out where it needed to land. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of like designed everything else around this cabinet. So this was one where we didn't do a drawing of the design beforehand mm -hmm. <laughs> or a floor plan. We kind of did the floor plan as we went. It's actually how I would say a lot of DIYers do it that way. We typically build around furniture to make it all kind of work. Yeah. You guys actually have a team that does a graph and a, you know, well, like we, we try, I mean, to be honest with you with custom work, it's something where we kind of, we don't really put a lot of drawings out there. We try our best to adhere it's to, not a, easy. to a layout. Once we start building, we find a half inch here. And by the time we get to the front of the vehicle, we have an extra five or six inches. And it's like, Oh, well, that's big enough space to put a whole pantry. So when we build, we kind of go through this process as we're building it, mm -hmm. which is kind of um, something that doesn't exactly work well when we're trying to do remote uh, customers. Like if we have a customer across the country and trying to like explain what we're doing, it's it's easier for us to just take pictures of what we drew, <laughs> what we built rather yeah. than what we've drawn. So we're figuring out that process a little bit, to be honest. If you just let us do our work, <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the result you get. All right, we're gonna move to the back of the van just to show you guys the yeah. underneath storage, underneath the bed. Um, and you know, the controls are all over there. Well, look at you. Thank you for turning that on for me. Yeah. Uh, you got your bar battery monitor over there, your Victron, uh, yep. you know, inverter right over there. So you're good there. This whole thing's a power box. This whole thing is the water box. And dog mm. bed. I love that dog bed. Yeah. Uh, before we go outside, guys, I just want to point this out. Um, that is a custom made handle. Nobody in their right mind makes custom made handles. <laughs> um, for some reason, Mark and his team made a custom made walnut handle. Who does that, Mark? Bryn. Bryn. In his crazy mind. Yeah, Bryn is an, a true artist. A little garage area. Um, but we have the second half of the power box. Uh, water box with a little water gauge right there. And you still even made a storage area up here. And then we still, yeah, we're able to get a little cubby for like the sharp power extension cord and oh nice yeah water hose that sort of thing. Is this lighting for the underneath or? Yeah, so this is actually. Oh, the lighting for inside. The okay. House lights. We always put three switches in: one behind the driver, one on the side door, and one in the back. So nice. You have three points of being able to turn on the house lights. And these are the windows that you guys installed. Even yeah. the other two were already. Yeah, and in these there. are again the, the Arctic turns. Those are so the, nice. Yeah, super fun. Extra little trim pieces and stuff. Oh, um, that's right. You said you were going to put a walnut yeah, piece. Yes, so we have a walnut piece going across here. We have a little piece that's going over that on the back side of the controls. Tiny little bit unfinished, but we're pretty much there. It's this is another thing too, a shout out to Andy. He spent an entire day um, coming up with this window uh, ring to follow the contour of this window inside of here. And watching him put this together was like part frustration part comedy and then and then all sorts of like wow i'm 
kind of proud of that guy <laughs> <laughs> because uh, he really, I was like, oh, just throw some walnut up there. We'll call it good. But he was like, no, it doesn't look right. So he, he really made, took the time to like perfectly shape these, these little pieces. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but this is 10 hours of work between those two things. And then just little details too that they kind of chose on their own. Just putting the white panels down below, the walnut panels up above, just to kind of match the rest of the van. Yeah, absolutely. So, so when the doors are shut, that looks like mm -hmm. it's part of the whole van, right? I can't even tell you how proud I am of my team on this one. Every, everybody here just really threw down. And then, like I said, Bryn and Andy and Anthony and, and Mary as well, they all... Yeah, Mary was also involved in this. They yeah. really took this one on, and, and it was a bear. <laughs> it was a bear i can't be prouder of it i work with some amazing people i know the client is going to be very very happy with their product in a couple of days when they pick it up but really really nice job buddy yeah thank I'm you super Sorry, excited kind of rummy it's been a long day it's been a long day it's been a long actually a couple of weeks for you and you got you know obviously yeah. there's there's other vans in the shop right here yeah. um and i mean you're always working and i think you have another one on the front over there so another it's like one in the front and a whole bunch on the other side oh yeah, that's right you have i'm just gonna take a quick little gander look at that guys this is not yeah the shop is in shambles at the moment it's okay man it's okay dude the thing about it is that all of us are still having a really good time that's the part that's fun and uh shout out to you you were you were featured on pbs news hour yeah that was uh <laughs> that was a surprise one of our clients just gave us a, a shout out and they reached out to us and it was funny I mean, they had me in the intro it was an awesome cool. segment um if you guys haven't got yeah. a chance to watch it it's on it's on the the PB, it's on youtube now um yeah. but it's a pbs pbs news, news hour. hour yeah it's october 1st october 1st okay great yeah. um it was a two-part they're doing a series on the retirement community looking for alternative ways to make money during kind of the crisis that we've been experiencing it's pretty amazing i got to watch it and you know i i actually just said it because i wanted to praise myself because uh, some of that footage was mine so <laughs> <laughs> yeah they gave me credit they gave me we credit were, we were also very thankful for but yeah that was just a fun little it was great little blip i've had my 15 seconds of fame now thank you so so much again for showing this off yeah dude thanks thank you too thank yeah, man, you anytime. for coming in and you know showcasing our stuff have a lot of pride in what we do we have a lot of fun doing what we're doing and so it's really great to like actually have a vessel for that to be seen because otherwise we'd just be nerding out by ourselves in here you know which we would have done anyways yeah totally totally uh mark uh we're gonna see you again soon thank you again so much yeah, and thank you. talk to you later all right later Bye.